Hey guys, Grant here with Up North Sports, and today we're going to be talking about the Allied Mono Suit from 509. So, if you guys are looking for a good piece that's insulated or non insulated, it comes in both options. It's a good crossover piece here. So, if you get the insulated, it's really nice for the Midwest when you're like trail riding or everything like that. And if you get the uninsulated, that's really good for the mountains when you're out there ripping out west. They have a full length zipper up here to the neck, offset. So, if you like it up the zip full, they have another zipper here too to help with the neck a little bit there if you have a little too tight or caught up. But it does come all the way down to the hip, offset to the right. It's a nice little feature there. We'll get into the inside of the jack here in a second, but I just want to point out the cuffing system they have here with 509. It's an asymmetrical cuff, so it'll sit up towards your fingers and come back down to your thumbs when you're grabbing on to the handlebars on your snowmobile. You're not going to have any bunching up with your gloves or any handlebar issues in there. It does have a, a nice adjustable strap there, so you can get whatever feel you like with your cuffs. Um, going in up the arm, you have a nice arm pocket that also comes with a goggle chamois. So if you're out there ripping pretty hard and you get some snow on those goggles or, the, or your shield, get, you have that right there for yourself so you can just wipe that right off. Nice little feature they added there. You'll see we have some venting underneath the pits here, which is huge. Full length comes down to the side right there. That's a nice vent. I should honestly have them all invented right now because it's getting pretty stuffy in here uh, with this insulated mono. Um, you'll see there's more venting in here down in the thighs. Open that up, get some airflow in there as well as down here in the sides. So if we go inside the jacket here, also where we go, chest pocket right there, and then two pockets on the sides right there. But I'll open it up. You can see we have nice suspenders. Uh, honestly, these would be a little slouched on me. I am like 5'10, this is a large, so it's a little long in my legs, but these straps, these nice suspenders here, I haven't pulled up. It helps pull them up to my hips and it actually makes it a good fit for myself. There's some internal pockets and vents in here. Internal pocket here, it does have a headphone port right there. But yeah, just nice, easy. It's got 100 grams of thin slate on the inside. So obviously I'm feeling really toasty right now, but when you're out on the, <laughs> when you're out on the trails, all you need is some very little um, if you're out doing trails in the Midwest where it's cold or out east, you'd only need maybe a little, a few base layers or something like that to pair with. But, but if you go on insulated, you won't even have to worry about that. Um, if we come down to the leg and the hip, right here, it has a full leg zipper to open up. As you can see, I'm definitely not wearing pants under there. But then also it comes with a boot skirt that if you're wearing your 509 raid boot, it just has a nice little buckle there that'll go right around the ring on your boot to help keep the skirt down and keep the snow out of your boots. So you have a, light, a nice comfortable ride through there. And then as always, one of my favorite features with men's mono suits is the front zipper because when you're out on the trails and you got to go, that's a nice little, nice little way to relieve yourself out on the trail. Nice and easy, out of the way, simple and easy. But that's the 509 Allied Mono Suit guys from 509, brand new this year, well, brand new design. And let's just talk about Poison Dart. I mean, if you don't want anyone to mess with you when you're riding, this is the colorway to go. All right, appreciate it, guys. Thank you.